Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Meet Amy Poker from Eclectica Gifts. Thanks for being here, Amy. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you ha you do a lot of group classes. I do. And you're gonna give us a taste of that yes, today. Yes, yes, we're really gonna excited. we're gonna do a little fun project. Okay. Um, I am basing it off of a painting that I am teaching this Friday night. So I am teaching that at 6:30 at the Main Mercantile, which is where my studio is located. Um, and it's, uh, there's still slots available, so if you're interested, be sure to go and book online at mainmercantile.com. But uh, we're going to just take a minute and learn how to do a leopard print on these shoes. Okay, yes. Very fun. So if we were to go to the class, we would start with a blank canvas, but, uh, right? Not 100% hundred percent blank, blank, to okay. be honest. I do tracers on mine, uh -huh. so oh, nice. what that would be is the basic design would be on there just drawn out with a Sharpie. That would be okay. helpful for I was going to say, very helpful for beginners. It uh -huh. helps the people, even if you're more advanced, it yeah. helps you know your placement. Okay. Yeah. You, know, you don't yeah. have to worry about centering it properly. I've done that for you. Yes. <laughs> and so Perfect. I would say a good 75 to 90% of my classes are taught that way. Okay. I do put on the website that if it is freehand, mm -hmm. I have it listed that way. Oh, okay. So okay. you would know if that it's That makes sense. Right, so cool. how are we going to do so this? So what we're going to do is um, the leopard, it's, we've got it all mapped out kind of with the, the basic painting is done. Um, that's just because we have time constraints. So uh -huh. <laughs> um, I've given us each the three wells of paint. We're going to go for the brown paint first, and we're going to use our, we're going to call this a round brush. Okay. okay. So just get a little bit of this paint on that round brush, and all over the shoe, we're going to do blobs. That's, it's super simple, and you can always use the example here oh. to kind of get as your mind. So these don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect. So just just go in there and do literally almost blobs. like little blobby. Okay. Um, that polka makes dots it easy. Kind of unperfect. Yeah. Polka dots. And they're even better. The more unperfect, the better. So oh. be sure to get a couple. Um, definitely up here. Oh, on the little... on the strap area. Okay. And then it's up to you on, and you know, I, I, I always tell people, this is yours. Uh -huh. you're, you're the one going home with it. Sure. It doesn't matter to me what you do. Um, but what I like to do is I like to put a couple of them right up to the edge because that's the way that a leopard print would go. Uh, it's it going to go real. to the edge and it's going to go around the shoe. Uh -huh. So just go and do these little blobbies okay. every so often. I feel like I, I went kind of intense on mine, but, I can't yeah. yours, but I'm definitely going to be comparing. But hey, you know what? I feel like all shoes are different, so you know and what? And they should be. They yeah, should be. absolutely. I, I don't think I you did anything wrong. You. <laughs> You're probably more artistic than me, Cami. So I would take a bet on that. So Amy, after this step, what would be the next? Um, what would be the next step that we would do? What I typically do, and we're not going to do this part. We would dry this to get to the next step. Okay. I have hair dryers in the studio. Nice. So we would take a moment and do that. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to just go ahead and wipe off. I always also say, wiping off your brushes with a paper towel or something like that is one of the best things you can do to save that brush. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, just set that aside. We're done with that one. Okay. okay. We're going to move on. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the smaller brush and we're going to use the black paint. Okay. So this, the difference is that we're not going to have that little bit of a dry time on this. Mm -hmm. So it could smear, smear. And smear <laughs> yeah. a little, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So what we're going to do, the, the way that this becomes a realistic leopard print is we get just a tiny bit. Don't do too much paint. That's also why we've got I the smaller brush, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but just get a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. And you usually cover around each of these little dots. The whole outside of it? Almost three quarters. Don't do the whole outside. Just do about three quarters of it. Okay. And do that on all of them and have them just very free. You'll see on our example that some of them might even have like a little dot. I'm putting a little dot in the middle of that one. Okay. Just, well, they're very free. They're yeah. very, you know, it's yeah. nature. Nature is not. We're going to keep at this, but yeah. we're going to finish this up when we come right back. Yeah. 